Hello, fourth grade scientists. Today, you get to begin something exciting. You're going to start a PowerPoint presentation on classification. We've spent the last few days learning all about how scientists classify plants and animals. Let's read the directions together. Print out this rubric and use it as a checklist as you are creating your slideshow. You can still use this even if you don't have a printer, but it's best to check off each item if you can. I'm going to attach this document into Google Classroom. Make sure if you can have your mom or dad print this document, or if you can do it without their help, great. Go ahead and do that. Now, you'll notice as you are looking at this document, if you scroll down, that it's broken up day by day. Here's what you are going to be doing today. Monday, here's tomorrow's work, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then the next Monday you'll finish. So we are going to be working on this project for a grand total of a week. It is really important that you don't get behind and that you work on this each school day. I'm going to go over the first day with you and help you so you know exactly what to do. Let's take a look at Monday's work. Number one, I have changed the theme to make my pre presentation more interesting. Let's do just that. Here is what your template looks like. It is black and white and extremely boring you're going to change the theme by following the directions. The first thing you do is click on theme. You'll notice that to the right, a bunch of themes come up. You can scroll through these and choose a theme to your liking. I'm going to choose this blue one. Okay. We're already done with number one. This is worth seven points, so don't forget to do it. Number two, I have changed the transitions to make my presentation more interesting. Let's review how to do that. Do you see a place up in your toolbar that could maybe help you? Oh, there it is, transition. Click on it. You'll notice that to the right, this changes. Right now, it says none because we don't have a transition there. But let's go ahead and click this little arrow and see what our options are. When you click that arrow, you'll notice this comes into view. If I click the arrow, it goes away. If I click it again, it points down. This bar comes into view. When I click on that, a whole bunch of options show up. Hmm, what do I want? Let's try flip. I can click play to see what it's gonna look like. Hmm, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and use that. When I've decided on what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and click stop. Then I'm going to click apply to all slides. Okay, we're done. At least with steps one and two. Let's go to number three. 
I have one slide telling the characteristics of birds. Hmm. What could I use to help me with this step? Ooh, I know. For this assignment, you're definitely going to want to use your fourth grade science spiral notebook. Hold it out. If you don't have one, chances are your teacher is going to give you the page that we're going to be using, so don't worry. Turn to page 116, or if you don't have the book, look for an attachment in Google Classroom or Canvas, whatever your teacher is using, of this chart. Do you see characteristics of birds that we could put on our PowerPoint? Aha! Right here. Warm-blooded, hatch from eggs, feathers cover their bodies, two legs and two wings. So these are the characteristics scientists use to decide what makes a bird a bird. Let's go ahead and type these characteristics in the PowerPoint. I'm going to show you what the beginning of your PowerPoint looks like. This is the title page. You'll want to add your name. Then you're going to go to the second slide. It says there are millions of living organisms that live in Utah and in our world. Okay, this slide is actually going to be done for you, but if you want to put some other pictures in, you can. We'll come back to this in a minute. Remember, we're doing number one, or sorry, not number one. We're doing, we're doing number three. I have one slide telling the characteristics of birds. So we're going to skip this slide, skip this slide, skip this slide. These are kind of the introduction slides and you really don't need to do anything on those if you don't want to. Characteristics of birds, here we go. Let's type those in. Okay, here are my characteristics. I think it would actually look nicer and it would be better presented if we use bullets. Do you see something up here in our toolbar that could help us with bullets? There's a numbered list, aha, bulleted list. I'm gonna click on that. There's my first bullet. If I click enter, there's my second. Enter, there's my third. Enter, there's my fourth. So I would really encourage you to use bullets as it helps your audience to see in a really quick glance what the characteristics of birds are. You can add in some pictures if you'd like, but you don't have to. Not on the characteristics slide. Let's move on to number four. I have pictures and captions of the following birds in this order. This is really, really important, this in this order, because, and I'm going to show this to you now so you're aware, you'll notice at the very end, my slideshow follows the exact order of the rubric. That's worth 20 points, okay? So you're really going to want to follow that direction because if you don't, it's gonna be 20 points off of your grade. So what that means is that as you're putting pictures in, you follow this order. So what's the first bird I'm gonna put in? Red tail hawk. Let's do that. Now, if you've forgotten how to put a picture in, don't worry, I'm going to do that for you right now. We really don't need this huge text box. I'm going to click on it and press delete. The first step is to click insert. 
what do we want to insert? Well, we want to put in a picture, and a picture is a synonym for image. And then I'm not going to upload it from my computer. I'm going to search the web for it. You'll notice that this comes up on the side. I'm going to type in red-tailed hawk. And there's a picture of a red-tailed hawk. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. I think it's a really nice one. Oh, but you'll notice I'm on the wrong slide. Silly Mrs. Burningham. Let's fix that because remember, these need to go on the slide where it says pictures, right? I'm going to fix that right now. Okay, now I'm on the right slide. Examples of birds that live in Utah. Let's try this again. Insert, image, search the web, red-tailed hawk. Here's my picture. Insert. And it's huge. Holy hawkage. Let's fix that. When I click on it, you'll notice that there is a cross that shows up. That's to help me to move it around. But I don't need to move it around. I need to make it smaller. If I hover over the corner, you'll see that the arrow changes. And when it looks like this, you can change the size. If I drag down, it becomes smaller. If I drag up, it becomes bigger. The cross comes back and that's how I move it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller. And again, we don't need that text box. Now that I'm done with putting a picture in, I would go ahead and take a pencil and put a check right here in this box. I'll put a slash. Okay. All right, you'll notice that I also need to do a caption. And it's a point for each, so make sure you do it. Let's review how to put a caption in. Caption is text that helps my audience know what the picture is. So we're going to press insert or putting it in our PowerPoint. We're going to click on text box. Then I'm going to drag this and now I'm ready to type. Ta-da! I'm done. I'm ready to put a check mark in the red-tailed hawk row. Check. And now I can move on to the next birds. It's important. Am I going to say, ooh, I want to do the crow next? and put the crow in after the red-tailed hawk? No! What comes next? The barn owl. Remember that that's important. It's worth a lot of points for you to follow that order. Hey, I've done my first slide. You can see that I follow the exact order that's on your rubric. Red-tailed hawk came first, then barn owl, then a lark. To encourage you to try to do three animals per slide. Notice I still have more animals to go. But if I go to the next slide, it says characteristics of mammals, but I'm still putting in pictures of birds. This means I need a a new slide. If you need to put in a new slide, click insert and then go all the way down the bottom where it says new slide. Boom! Now you can see the new slide that comes right after. 
Fourth graders, I can't wait to see the finished product. Good luck.